Welcome back, Discovery Rangers. Good to have you with us. Today's lesson is going to resume our study of Second Kings. We are now on Lesson 3. Let's begin with our key point. Being mentored is an important part of spiritual growth. In our key verse, follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1. Then Elijah said to him, Stay here, Elisha. The Lord has sent me to Jericho. And he replied, As surely as the Lord lives, and as you live, I will not leave you. So they went to Jericho. The company of the prophets at Jericho went up to Elisha and asked him, Do you know that the Lord is going to take your master from you today? Yes, I know, he replied, so be quiet. Then Elijah said to him, Stay here, the Lord has sent me to the Jordan. And he replied, As surely as the Lord lives, and as you live, I will not leave you. So the two of them walked on. Fifty men from the company of the prophets went and stood at a distance, facing the place where Elijah and Elisha had stopped at the Jordan. Elijah took his cloak, rolled it up, and struck the water with it. The water divided to the right and to the left, and the two of them crossed over on dry ground. When they had crossed, Elijah said to Elisha, Tell me, what can I do for you before I am taken from you? Let me inherit a double portion of your spirit, Elisha replied. You have asked a difficult thing, Elijah said, yet if you see me when I am taken from you, it will be yours. Otherwise, it will not. As they were walking along and talking together, suddenly a chariot of fire and horses of fire appeared and separated the two of them, and Elijah went up to heaven in a whirlwind. Elisha saw this and cried out, My father, my father, the chariots and horsemen of Israel. And Elisha saw him no more. Then he took hold of his garment and tore it in two. Elisha then picked up Elijah's cloak that had fallen from him and went back and stood on the bank of the Jordan. He took the cloak that had fallen from Elijah and struck the water with it. Where now is the Lord, the God of Elijah? he asked. When he struck the water, it divided to the right and to the left, and he crossed over. Second Kings chapter 2, verse 4 through 14. Guys, God has put older Christian men into our lives. Now these men have already faced many problems we will face. They can provide valuable guidance, and they can help us grow closer to Jesus. These men can be good mentors. Elisha's mentor was Elijah. The older prophet asked Elisha to work with him. Elisha saw some of Elijah's great miracles, and Elijah knew he was about to go to heaven. He tried to get Elisha to leave. Elisha refused. He wanted to stay with his friend for as long as he could. Three times, Elijah told Elisha to stay behind. Elisha refused. Elisha followed Elijah closely. He remained loyal to Elijah. God rewarded Elisha by giving him a double portion of the power that he had given to Elijah. Elijah's relationship with Elisha is a good model for mentoring. Elijah welcomed Elisha. He taught Elisha all he could, and Elisha served Elijah and was loyal to him. God has placed people like Elijah in our lives, too. God has men that he has put around us to help us, to train us, and to show us how to live godly lives. As they help us, we ought to help them. We should be loyal to them. We need to do our best to learn all we can from them. When we follow the people that God has placed in our lives, we will grow faster spiritually we will also receive the blessing of God. Okay, we've got three questions to go over and review the lesson that we've just had. Our first question, why did Elisha refuse to leave Elijah? Our second question, what did Elisha receive? And our third question, why is it important for Christians to have mentors in life? Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap up in prayer. Close your eyes and follow along with me. Dear God, thank you for placing people in my life who can mentor me and help me grow strong spiritually. Amen. Okay, guys, our challenge this week is to write a letter to someone who is a mentor, someone important in your life that has provided you with valuable advice. What we want you to do is tell them why the relationship is important and thank them for what they have done to help you. What I'd like you to do is email me over the answers to your three questions. Let me know who your mentor is and some of the kind words that you're going to be sharing with them. And until next week, we'll see you then.